Whoa, what kind of storm is this? What the hell is that thing? Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and we are 92% of the way towards the moss stage. And check this out. We actually have a little bit of water down there now. Not a ton, but uh, it's it's starting. So um, I'm guessing that the waterfall's going to start uh, w uh, when we hit the moss stage. So that should likely happen uh, in this episode. But the plan for this episode is for us to continue working on our terraformation index uh, by putting down some of our latest machines. Um, what I want to do is I want to put down uh, two T4 uh, drills. I want to put down two T4 heaters. And I want to put down at least two, maybe even three T2 flower spreaders. Uh, the flower spreaders both uh, contribute to biomass generation and to oxygen. Um, so they basically um, replace uh, veggie tubes in terms of, well, uh, veggie tubes didn't do biomass at all, but they did oxygen, but these do quite a bit more. Um, and then we'll see, you know, how our time goes and hopefully we'll see that waterfall kick in in this episode as well. Uh, one thing I'll, I'll let you guys know, this is doesn't really have any impact on you but i've been uh still been having some crashes in the game and um what i think i've figured out is that the frame rate um i had this i had this up to well originally i had it like really high but then i then i kind of locked it in at 120 and it seemed to be you know stable away from my base here but when i got to my base uh with all the stuff that's going on here uh i still would have you know fairly frequent crashes and and had you know have to start over it and and in some cases it would bring my entire system down like not even a bsod i mean it just <laughs> it went down completely everything turned black and the computer rebooted um so but you know since i turned the frame rate uh down to 60 frames per second um, which is, you know, my, my system is far more capable of handling more than that, but I think, I don't think it's my system. It's this game, or it's probably a combination of my particular hardware in this game. Uh, I think I've managed to hopefully stop those crashes from occurring. Um, so we'll see what happens, you know, as, as we, as we continue on here. Anyway, um, I don't think I'm going to do anything with that water down there just because I'm pretty sure, you know, it's going to increase. So we'll kind of wait till it gets more to its permanent level before we start, you know, putting algae collectors and those kinds of things down there. All right. So uh, the first order of business is power. Um, I'm going to actually, uh, I want to put a couple of tier two nuclear power plants down because I think we're going to need, we're going to need them for all of this stuff. And in order to do that, we're going to have to call in uh, some more uranium. Um, or, or launch a uranium rocket to call the uranium down. And uh, for the life of me, I can't remember what exactly we need to do that. So let's run out there and check it. And also, I'm going to grab some water and drink some water. And let's just run up here and see what that requires. I just about flew off the other end there. Okay, so we need two supers and three cobalts. And a rocket engine. Okay, so oop. let's see here. Two uh, two supers. Oh, we already got two supers. Supers. Uh, three cobalt. Do I have any in overflow? Yes. Three cobalt and a rocket engine. And this might uh, push us right into the moss stage all, all by itself, or it'll definitely speed it up. Oh, by the way, some of you may have mentioned this in comments from previous episodes, but um, as I've mentioned uh, to you guys uh, in the comments or on screen, I'm really way ahead of you uh, just because I want to try and get the series finished before 1.0 comes out on April 10th. So I'm quite a ways ahead of you guys 
Um, plus, I'm, you know, just enjoying the game thoroughly anyways, except for when the damn thing crashes. That's frustrating, so I'll get out. Um, but anyway, let's go... Let's go uh, launch this rocket, and hopefully we can get enough uranium to uh, to make two tier two nuclear plants. Uh, this one here. Now, I also uh, I did look up what the deal is with these rockets um, be, uh, on the wiki because I just needed to know. Here's the thing: every time you launch one of these, it adds. Uh, a thousand uh, uh, or basically times 10 a thousand percent or times 10 to your production for for you know in this particular case um yeah, heat right this is the heat rocket i think yeah i think it is um and so and that just keeps on adding so it's not a one-time shot or even a temporary thing it, it adds a, a, you know it basically multiplies times 10 and every time you do it it adds another 10 but it's also a diminishing return thing, and it's also affected by the number of uh, machines that you have running. So, um, yeah. So I, I, I still, you know, didn't didn't fully absorb all that information. But I guess the lesson is that, you know, we can't launch a hundred of these. Well, we could if we wanted to, but you know, it each time we do it, there's a bit of a diminishing return. Um, but and and you want to continue to add more machines in this case you know heaters because this is a heat rocket in conjunction with that to you know for maximum efficiency okay i did an absolutely terrible job of explaining that but uh, anyway that's the deal okay but one of the things that i did read about these rockets is that you can kind of mess with them and it's really funny um you can kind of tip them you know as they start to take off and make them do weird things you'll still get the effect from them um so in this case we'll still get our our uranium meteorite storm, but it, it could do something funny. So let's, let's mess with it a little bit and see what happens here. Okay, here we go. So let it take off and then we're gonna pump it and see if we can get it to go sideways or something. There, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my goodness, that's funny. It's heading way over into the, <laughs> it's out of sight now. All right. so. Here comes our uranium. Oh man, I hate it when they land up there. Uh, well, maybe we'll be able to get to the uranium easily enough. Oh shit. Oxygen, kind of important. All right, so I'm gonna go around guys and pick as much uranium as I can. Um, and hopefully, like I said, we'll get enough to make two. Oh, the train's kind of weird up here. Uh, make two of the generators that we're gonna need to then make the other machines. some more down here ah shoot I really wish we could there was some way you know maybe make the debris from these meteorites remove their collision after they they land because it blocks you from oh geez that the way the hell up there blocks you from getting it you know it's kind of a pain in the ass not gonna lie I'm not happy about that okay well this one dropped uh, oh okay looks like it dropped most of its payload down here, which is great. There's maybe one more on that side. I don't know. Okay, yeah. Anyway, like you know, maybe use our drill to be able to at least dissolve the rock or something. Um. All right. Let's go. While we're uh, actually up high. Okay, we got one that landed way over there. Uh, we got two impacts down there uh, oh no look at that one just hanging there hmm. can we get up there I actually you know one of you guys was telling me in the comments that we don't have O2 an O2 canister oh one of them landed down there uh what if you guys were telling me that there, there's an actual pathway up to the waterfall with some goodies along the way and at the top? And um, so that's something we'll we'll go try too. But let's make ourselves a an oxygen bottle, and maybe we'll 
actually investigate that now just because we need to kind of get up there anyway. And if we're going to do that, maybe we should actually take two oxygen bottles with us. This is all filled in with water now. Super deep, man. Very cool. I remember this old, this crater. Before it filled with water, we came down here at one point and... Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. Um, I don't know why... Oh, geez, this really goes down deep. I don't know why I didn't uh, loot that. Maybe I didn't have space or something. But yeah, we'll take that. We're going to need iridium rods, too. Oh, look, there's one stuck right in there. Can we get to it? Two were stuck in there. That's even better. Can we go up, scooch up this way? All right. Um, yeah, let's go back down here and make another oxygen bottle. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll see if we can actually find that pathway up there. Okay, uh, you know what? Now we need it. Now we need food. Well, we might have enough time. I hope we have enough time. Okay, let's grab the uranium over here. And then uh, we'll scooch up to the top of that waterfall and see if we can grab some more. You know what, though? Now that we've looted that chest. See, I can't get to that piece. That's so frustrating. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. Um. We might actually need to go back to the base and drop some stuff off and then come back. That's not the majority of this stuff, though. Where? Okay, there, there we go. Oh, we just hit moss stage. I think we did anyways, because the biomass screen just became available to us. Nice. All right. Um, Is this the pathway here? Oh, wow. Look at that. Supers. Okay. Um. Yeah, there, it, it, there is definitely like a, a little ramp or something up here. That's what you guys were talking about. I've had several of you tell me in the comments, hey, make sure you keep exploring around the waterfall area. There's a lot more things to find. And case in point, this is nice. We're going to be using a ton of super alloy today, too, for everything I have planned. So... It's timely, but the problem is I'm going to run out of space. So let's just um, let's grab that one, and we'll have to. Uh, it kind of looks like it does little zig. Uh, what do they call those? Cutbacks or switchbacks? Yeah. All right. Well, let's um. Is the waterfall in here now? Let's go check it out. Yes, it is. Look at that. Oh, awesome! All right, and the water level has risen too. So that's even better. All right, there's the waterfall. Where, whoop. <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's, uh, I'll, I'll get a screenshot of that later. Let's go back, drop this stuff off, and try and get get as much of the rest of the uranium as we can. Um, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt with all these all this other stuff falling now, too, to figure out which one's which, but we'll do the best we can. Um... Okay, yeah, let's put the supers in here. We've got some iridium that we'll put in here. A couple pieces of iron could go in here. I hope that stuff stays out there, the uranium in particular. Um, let's get something to drink. like seems like a really big storm is it is it over now <laughs> i don't know okay yeah we'll scope out the waterfall here um as soon as i let's grab a second one of those to take with us everything's happening too damn fast man 
Um, I'm gonna also put all of these. Uh, let's put two of those waters in there. Now I we saw one of the. Uranium um, meteorites landed over here, I think. Yeah, right here. Okay, good. So, so the ore does stick around for a little bit longer, even after the debris goes away. I just don't know how long it sticks around. It certainly doesn't stick around forever, I can tell you that much. These are some enormous rocks. There's an aluminum. Was this another uranium? I don't know. Okay. Um, there were a couple that landed out in the desert. So let's go see if we can grab those while the grabbing's still good. And I don't know if we'll get to the uranium up on the mountain there or not. But, uh, oh yeah, look at that. Easy to get to now. See if this... If they stuck around long enough, I guess I'd have to test the theory. Be better off to, you know, just wait for 10 minutes for the debris to clear, but I don't want to risk losing them as a thing. Maybe it's a deal where, you know, they disappear after X amount of time, or if you, like, leave the, you know, the zone or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, I think that's it for all of the uranium that landed down here. Um, so let's drop off again this other load and head up to the waterfall really quick to see if we can nab whatever might still be remaining up there. That's a nice little supply of, of uranium though, for sure. Okay, so let's head back up there. Uh, I got extra food and extra water on me and extra O2, so we should be good. That is cool looking. I wonder if, if the water gets any higher than this. In fact, did we have a meteorite that landed it down here? I don't see one. Okay. Or if this is like the highest that it gets. We'll give it a little more time before we start, you know, uh, putting stuff on the water there. Yeah, we'll come back around here to this ramp. Might as well top off the O2 since we're here. Alright, so we got up high enough to get to these switchbacks. And there's another super. This is great, though, because we really need the super alloy. Uh, okay, I don't see anything more that way. So it looks like there's one piece on each section of the ramp coming up here. Uh, except for this one. Oh, well, there's this one here. I guess that was it, because there was technically two on this ramp. Uh, okay, this way? Uh, do we... Hold on. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of weird getting up there. Alright, I don't see... anything on this ramp, but here's one here. And another piece here. This is great. All right, there's another piece here. Come on, quit doing that. I'm gonna actually save the game at this point because I still don't trust it. <laughs> I hope that frame rate thing fixed the issues. And hey, look at that, we're underneath the waterfall. Very cool. 
nice and refreshing after living in this uh, on this desert planet for so long. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the prize. Um, we'll pick this stuff up now too, but if we don't have room for it, uh, I don't know where that other uranium meteorite landed. Uh, but let's see what we got here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, and we need the explosive, some more bean seeds. Yeah, that's good stuff. The golden seed, we'll take it all. Absolutely take it all. Plus we get another super alloy from taking that apart. Woo, look at the view from up here. That could be a good screenshot, couldn't it? Um, we better take one of these. The thing is, though, is... Wow, this is cool. Why don't we I'm going to I'm going to take two potential different screenshots. Um and then I'll decide which one to use. So let's take the hot away and do one like this. Okay. And then we'll also take one from down below. Now, before we bail off the side of the mountain here, is there anything else that we might have missed? Not really seeing anything over here. Um, can we get around over to here where I think that uranium meteor, meteor hit? Hmm. That's some magnesium, which we don't... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so that's good news because that means this uranium actually sticks around for quite some time after the debris goes away. Really good news. Look at that. Um, oh, uh-oh. Why can't I pick it? Oh, I was in deconstruct mode, that's why. Fantastic. All right. So, yeah, maybe next time uh, we do a uranium rocket, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to chillax and let it... You know, let the debris clear before we do anything to go get it. We're still not at the very top of this structure, but quite a ways up. All right, let's bail off the side of this thing. You ready? Geronimo! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, that's awesome. And we'll hit our jetpack. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's probably a, a piece of cobalt. I'm just going to take that right now because I want to get the other screenshot. Uh, just, and we need to get a good angle for it, too. Let's go around to this angle. That's a pretty good shot right there, I think. Excellent. Okay. We might actually do one more... Uh, from the base. I'm going to grab this aluminum. Um, we got two more slots. Just look and see if there's any more aluminum. I'd prefer to grab that than the... than the iron. Of course, the iron's always useful, too. But... Yeah, here's another piece right here. Okay. Another storm coming in. Alright, well that's going to screw up my screenshot, so I'll have to wait for that to finish. But that's okay, we got lots of work to do. Whoa, what kind of storm is this? What the hell is that thing?
What is this? It's super alloy storm. Oh, wow, look at all of that, you guys. That's insane. What is that? What is that light in the sky, the god of super alloy? Holy moly. Here, we need a screenshot of this, too. <laughs> Good grief. All right. I think this is going to be the OG goes around and picks up meteorite debris for the whole freaking episode. And you know what? If it's going to be super alloy, that is okay with me. Goodness gracious. I can't believe how much of that stuff has fallen, you guys. All right, let's, uh... I, I didn't I didn't even know that would happen. I, and I was wondering to myself, what are we going to do about super alloy later on? Well, I think I think that uh, question has just been answered. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just put everything in here. I'll sort it out later. Uh, but we do want to... Let's grab a couple more oxygen bottles. Um, let's eat our food. And we'll grab an extra water. And then, yeah, we got to go around and pick all these up. Unbelievable. Okay. I mean, how many of that of those were there? <laughs> okay. This is like Christmas, man. Wow. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you know what the what the story is behind that. I mean, there was some kind of big pink super alloy orb in the sky kind of thing. Look at it all over the place. Oh, my God. This is just... I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I'm just going to go around and pick up, pick it all up. Let's do it.
right, guys. I think that's not the last one. <laughs> I can't believe how much super alloy came down from that. St oh, look, there's even one up here from that storm. That is just crazy. Uh, here's another piece. It's just all over the place. <laughs> oh, man. Is it? I wonder how. Does that happen more than once or is this like a one time thing? Just doing one last sweep here. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's quite possible that... That there's a few more around, but... I think we did a pretty good job of nabbing them all. Or, or most of them, anyways. Okay, wow. Well, we're gonna... Have plenty of super alloy for a while. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. Um, let me put this stuff in here for now. So the two chests are completely full. Of course, I already had... I don't know, this is probably maybe about half full when we started the episode. I guess I don't remember for sure. But anyway, this, this is completely full. This is completely full. Overflow... Three is completely full. Well, except for we do have whoops, uh, we do have one aluminum in there. Overflow four is completely full, except for one aluminum. And then five is over half full. That is just insane. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. I'll take it, man. I will take it. Yes, indeed. Um now I, I'm trying to come down off my super alloy high here. Uh, let's see. What I want to do now is, uh, let's go check our, our tree bark. Grab those two out of there. We'll keep harvesting those and building them up. Um, yeah. Okay. So I want to make two tier four drills, two tier four heaters, and, uh, two to three tier two flower spreaders. So, but before we do that, we need to get two tier two nuclear power generators down. Um, so let's see, we're going to need, uh, we got one rod too in that, uh, gold chest or wherever we found that. Um, so let's grab that. We're also going to need the iridium rods and, and a few explosive powders too, but, uh, we'll, we'll do, we'll do those when we get to them. All right, so that gives us a total of three. So we need to make three more rods, which means we need uh, 27 more uranium because it's nine per. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to try and count that. I'm just going to grab it and see if we can make three rods. There we go. Okay. And we, uh, we have enough to even make one more rod. I mean, what the hell? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, yeah, okay. Excellent, okay. Now, um, we need to... We need two super alloys. I wonder if we have enough of those. Huh! That's just crazy that we got so much of that. Um, okay, and then we're going to need two explosive powders. We have one right here. Um, and some water. Uh, let's go make the other explosive powder, then we'll grab some water on the way out. So we need an iridium and two sulfur. Okay, so that should be enough for us to put down two power plants. We have, because we're, we're pretty, you know, getting close to not having much at all there. And each one of these guys needs three water in total. So there's three water in total. But we always want to, of course, keep one in our inventory. And let's drink one as well. Very good. Okay. Um, actually, two. I'm going to save the game just in case. But I think we've. I think I've solved my problem because it was crashing, you know, like within three to five minutes uh, or or sooner. Is that even another one over here? 
No, that's a magnesium. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if there are a few more sitting around. I mean... Yeah, that was just nuts. Okay, so I think what we'll do is... Let's put... Uh, let's put the next generator... I mean, we could keep going back this way with them, I suppose. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, line it up. Pull it back this way a bit. Yeah, see, the problem now is that we're going to run into that. But maybe what we do is we start coming back this way. Do we have room to put one more here? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Okay, so that gives us a gob of power, but by the time it's all said and done, we're probably going to use most of that. Next thing is let's do two T4 drills. So we're going to need 12 supers and six osmium. Oh, I saw something weird up there. Okay. Um, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 supers, and, so, yep, 6 osmine, that's all I have left, so we're going to have to go grab some of that. Once we get to the tier 2 ore extractor, then, then I think we can actually place that in a cave and have it get osmium for us. Alright, so let's bring these out here. And let's see what size they are. Is that, is that a super alloy up there? Yes, it is. It is indeed. Look at that. I might as well grab this stuff while we're up here. Okay. Oh my goodness, this thing's huge. Wow. All right. Uh... Let's... Maybe put it... That thing's enormous! <laughs> okay! Let's do another one! If we, oh, whoops. Maybe we, let's do it from this side. There. Oh, it's, damn it. Stay there. No, it keeps wanting to move on its own. It's so irritating. Kind of hard to line these up just right. All right, you know what? I'm, I don't care where the legs are going. I'm just going to line the center of them up because the legs keep trying to adjust to the terrain. Those things are huge. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this, this whole area to the south here, we'll just keep putting more of those drills down. Um, all right. Wow. Lots of pressure there. Grab another tree bark. Next, we're going to do two tier four heaters. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, all right. So for those, we're going to need six supers, four iridiums, two explosive. All right. There's two of the iridiums right there. Let's put this other stuff in there for now. Um, I need a water in my inventory. Okay, six supers is what we said, right? So three, four, five, six of those. We need to make two more iridium rods. Oh, no, we don't. We've got them right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. Uh, okay, so just two explosives. One, two, three. 
two, and one, two, three, four. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll put those over here by the end of the rocket platform. And I think we'll orient ourselves to this direction. Yeah, those are sizable too, but they're not as big as those drills. My goodness. Um, okay, so I want that to just pull out from there and maybe right about there. Oh, cool. I like the steam coming out, out of the top of that. That's neat looking. Okay, we'll put the second eater uh, right there. Pull it towards us a bit. There we go. Okay. Next, we're going to put down some tier two flower spreaders. And if we have enough resources, we might try that. Uh, we might try this thing, this machine optimizer. Uh, because I have three of the oxygen cartridges that go with that. That we've just found in loot. So, um, for these flower spreaders, we're going to need, see, what did I say we're going to do three, right, to start with? Okay, so we're going to need six super and six fertilizer and a bunch of water. One, two, three, four, five, six super. Grab some water there. How many did it say we needed per? We need two per, so we need a total of six water plus an extra. Four, five, six extra, and let's drink one too. And then we need to make four fertilizer. All right, that's gonna require eggplant, so let's just harvest all of this stuff. And we'll put the squash in here, mushrooms in here. And then fertilizer requires two eggplant per, so we're gonna need a total of eight eggplant. We have three in there, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and then what else do we need for that? Four sulfurs and 12 algae. One, two, three, four. And let's just, we're, gonna, we're not gonna be able to do this all in the same shot, so. Okay, one, two. All right, and then one, two, three. I don't have any in here, do I? Oh, no, I have extra algae in there, though. Okay. Um. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. I, I need to make two more, don't I? Yeah, I do, because we want to put three of these down. Uh, okay, so that means we need... Four more eggplant. One, two, three, four. We're going to need two more sulfur. And let's grab all the algae out of here. There we go. Then we'll put the remaining algae back here. Okay, so that gives us six fertilizer. I think we have everything we need. The other thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to... Uh, let's grab three Tusca seeds because we're going to pull the golden seeds out of the veggie tubes and put them in these new flower spreaders and put the Tusca seeds inside the veggie tubes. Okay, so... Uh, oh, wait. That already has Tuscus in it. Uh, we got to go around the other side. Wait a minute, didn't we get... Yeah, we, we got another golden seed from the chest, which I put in here. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay. Do a game save. 
All right, let's see. I, I think my goal for flower spreaders, that kind of thing, is we're just going to continue to just place them around the base and further out, further out as we go along. So let's put... I want to kind of actually keep this area uh, more, you know, bare for now. So that's the, that's the uh, circumference of this. Okay. And we'll put that guy in there. Let's go and we could put one right about here. Yeah, why don't we do that? And then a third one can go probably right about here. All right, let's take a look and see where we're at power-wise. Because we made some significant increases in our terraforming process. Oh my goodness, we still have tons of power left. Hmm, did I even need to make two? Well, I mean, yeah, the answer is yes, eventually. Um, but now we're 12% of the way towards the flora stage. And we see some pretty good movement on... On the heat numbers especially. But I think this overall is lower than these because, you know, that's in the parts per billion, I think that stands for. And that's maybe million pressure something units. And that's whatever that U means, Kelvin <laughs> uh, thingy. So I think our heat's behind, but that doesn't surprise me because I've... It's just, you know, kind of the way things have come together. Um, the pressure is... Just trying to see. Okay, yeah, it just it just rolled over to to one there, so it's definitely moving. Well, we sure we we have a lot of power left, so I wonder if we should. Oh, I want to try something else. Can we do something with these now? Nope, still can't. All right, I guess we have to get higher. Um, all right, why don't we uh, why don't we look at making this thing? Um, you know we can make that recipe pin pinner thing. Uh, where is that? That's this. We can't though because I don't have any osmium at the moment. Allows to display the map from anywhere. Do I have an extra slot? I do. You know what? We should make that. What did that say that needed? Two aluminums and an obsidian. Uh, here we go. Two aluminum. Aluminum, 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 aluminum. And I have some obsidian back here. And we can get a lot of that over at the volcano. This is the first time I've actually had a use for it. Okay, so now what I do? Just press M? Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Nice. So we don't even need a map screen now. We can just bring it up. Very cool. Okay, we were going to make the pin thing too. Oh, no, we can't, right? Because we don't have the osmium. All right, we already have the tier two flashlight. Very good. Now, I want to... Let's make one of these. I can't pin it, though. So two explosives... A uranium rod, two irons, and a cobalt. Two iron, a cobalt. Oh, I guess I only needed one obsidian. Okay. Put that one back. We'll grab that uranium, extra uranium rod that we made. How fortuitous was that? Eh? I, I'd like, you know what I would like is I'd like oxygen... I'd like to get an atmosphere so we don't have to fight with oxygen anymore before anything else. So definitely don't have any problem fast tracking that. So we just need two explosive powder. So two of those and four of these. I need to go check my sulfur extractor and my aluminum extractor too at some point. Uh, 
That should be everything, right? Oh, no, we gotta make the explosives. Okay. Now, um, I have in here these oxygen multiplier fuses. I don't know what the area is, though. And I'm almost wondering if... Okay, how much is this outputting? Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, can't see very well. Okay, so this is doing 772 PPQS. This is doing 1.56 PPTS. Whatever T means, it's the next, you know, it's the next increment of number. Um, what is our biodome tier two doing? Does it tell us if we look at it? Got more bark. If we look at this, it tells us that it does 1160. My guess is that that's would maybe be 1.16 T PPT. And if that's the case, this one's doing more. Uh, plus, we have, yeah, okay. Uh, we put one here and we put one back here. I just don't know what the area of this is. So let's just plop it down right here and maybe it'll tell us. I've never used this before, so this is my first time. Oh, that's all? Shit. <laughs> all right. Um, then... We definitely want to put it by one of these uh, tier twos. So why don't we just put it by this one? And then we'll plop that in there. And that boosts this to... Wait a minute. Why does that say 109 PPT? That, should, uh, that number should have gone up. I mean, it, oh shit, what's the matter? Thirsty. It does say 850% compared to... Okay, so yeah, this one is... Oh, that doesn't make sense. This one is 600%, but it's doing 1.56 PPT. This one is apparently getting the boost from that. Oh, no, okay, there we go. It's doing 2.21. Oh, why was this one... Why is that one only doing... Oh, wait a minute, because I'm a noob. That's... That's a normal flower spreader. Okay. It is... It is getting over here, though. So, apparently that circle... It goes beyond just that circle. Because it's hitting this one, too. This one's at 850 at 2.21 PP. PPT. And it's hitting this one. All right. So I think I've got that in probably the most efficient spot I can put it in. I wonder if how close together you can put these. Like if I can move more of them closer together. Oh, no. Look at that. There are more rings. I just didn't notice it. And it, oh, cool, it shows an arrow, too. Oh, we need to breathe. <laughs> I'm like so, getting so sidetracked by this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so does that, does that mean it's also potentially affecting the biodome output? Uh, we already got O2, we need a water, we need some food. Let's put these in here. Do we do we get any more? Nope, not yet.
Okay, let's go back over here for a second. Yeah, it, uh, well, it looks like the ring is going all the way over to the biodome there, but it's not. Hmm. I can't tell. Let's just put this over by the biodome for a minute. This is, I, I'm trying to figure this all out is the thing. Oh, can we put, can we put it up on the roof? Oh, we can. Look at that. Okay. Uh, okay, well, let's just plop it down here for a second. All right, it's not showing an arrow on top of the biodome. So my guess then is that it doesn't impact the biodome. Just the machines we have on the ground. Yeah, because we don't. There's not an arrow on either one of them. Okay, so. Oh well, hold on. I didn't put the fuse in. Okay, now is it? It is. Oh, look at that. Okay, so by putting this up here, it's hitting both of the biodomes. Uh. Well, we have two more of those cartridges, so we should make two more of these, I think. Uh, is it hitting those over there? Is it too high in the air? Because it should be. We should see a green arrow over that thing. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's, um... Let's put it back down on the ground, but over in this corner. All right, now it's not affecting the biodomes anymore. Let's try something else. If we move this over and put it on the ground over here. We'll get some air back. Okay, so that's very obviously affecting the two biodomes. Uh, is it affecting that flower spreader over there? It is. Okay. Uh, so it's just really going to be a matter of the best placement to get both of the biodomes and as many of the flower spreaders as we can. What would happen if we placed it here? Okay, see, yeah, I can't tell if it's actually hitting the biodomes from down here. Um, it's not... It's hitting those three veggie tubes. Does it have a limitation on how many it can affect at once? Oh, okay. It says five machines. Duh. <laughs> Just read the fucking screen tip. Oh, gee. Goodness gracious, man. All right. It's late at night, guys. I uh, I actually went to bed earlier and had a little bit of insomnia, so I got up to record this, so my brain's like not working right. Okay. Now that we know that... um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one back over here so it hits these th three. No, that's not the. Yeah, I need to redo this a bit. Why don't we do this? Let's pick this up. Let's pick this one up.
Okay, so that's a tier two. Let's put a, another tier. Oh, shit, we gotta breathe again. That's why I want to fast track the oxygen. <laughs> Goodness. Alright, so once again, grab you. Let's put you right about here. And this, uh, this was the other tier three here. Okay, so we're gonna move this one closer. How about if we take that one? We'll put this tier three. Here, I guess. And then if we put the multiplier thingamadoodle uh, right next to this one. Okay, so it's hitting the tier three over there because we see the arrow. It's hitting the one in front of it. Okay, good. So we've got all three of the tier two, I'm sorry, I keep calling them tier threes, the tier two tubes being affected by that. Excellent. And, you know, uh, we can make more, well, I don't know, can we make more? I don't know, I'll have to take a look. Okay, let's get the these guys back down too, so we might as well continue using them. Or that, I guess just that one. Didn't we pick two of those up? I don't know. Thought we did, but maybe not. You can see the flowers growing. That's a trip. Okay. This has been a really good episode, you guys. <laughs> we made some we made some great progress here. Um not to mention that wonderful shower of uh super alloy that we got. Uh we finally got to experience the waterfall and the found a golden chest up at the top. And we're twenty-two percent of the way. To the flora stage. It's looking good, man. Oxygen's moving along pretty good. Oh, we can make the biomass screen. Let's do that before I let you guys go. Uh, that's this one here. We need an iron and a silicon. There we go. And is this a big screen or a little screen? It's a big screen. Can we put it up here? Uh, I mean, I, I could put it there. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll put it here for now. And uh, if we get to a point where we ma can make another one of these big screens, then I guess we'll move this one over or something. I kind of want them all together, though. What if we put, like, a wall there? Uh, let's see. Let's try this glass wall. We need an iron and a cobalt. Yeah, that'll let us put it there. Okay, cool. So we're 7.84 T on our biomass. No insects or animals yet, but plants. Uh, we're we're going, going at pretty good with plants at the moment. Still have a decent amount of power left. Uh, did anything else new unlock? Gas extractor. Nuclear fusion, a tree spreader T2. Where's the tree spreader, spreader T1? What? Oh, the seed spreader rocket. That's going to be good. Orbital informations. 
Oh, okay. I don't know if that's going to be a big or a small screen. DNA manipulator. This is where we can make the super alloy rod when that time comes. Exoskeleton, air filter. Reduces oxygen consumption depending upon the terraformation level. Okay, that'll be nice to have. An auto crafter. Automatically craft the chosen recipe if the ingredients are found in this in a certain range, either in storage. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that'll come in handy. Use this to create new insects and larvae and mutagens. An incubator. Water filter. Allows you to drink. Oh, that's the thing that allows us to drink from the lake. Okay. That's probably something I equip in my exoskeleton thingy. Teleporters will be nice. Tree spreader, spreader tier three. Okay, where's the tier one tree spreader? What am I missing here, man? That's the T2. Is it here? Food grower. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's in the biomass menu. It's weird that they mix them around, <clears throat> you know, between different menus, but uh, I guess that's what they do. Okay. Butterfly dome. A beehive. That'll be fun. The high quality food will be nice, too. Tree seed cernia. Fish, Yulani eggs, all kinds of cool stuff. All right, you guys. Uh, well, that is going to wrap up this episode. Um, this was, like I said, this was a really good episode um, for a lot of reasons. One being that we didn't crash finally. <laughs> I know you guys don't really see that on your end, but man, uh, I, lots of crashes on my end and having to redo things and uh, just so frustrating. And I'm very pleased that we finally got that crap taken care of. Um, very pleased. I mean, I still have the game on the highest settings, um, the maximum settings here. So it wasn't that, it was the frame rate. If I if I bump this up higher than 60, then it seems to crash, especially in this area on my machine. So I don't know what the hell's going on with it, but you know, we can deal with 60 frames per second. That doesn't suck. It's not as good as a 120, but it'll work. Um, and it doesn't matter to you guys in any case because YouTube, my YouTube videos are 60 frames per second anyways. <laughs> so yeah, uh, all right. I don't know what we're going to do in the next episode, but we will certainly figure it out. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.